tall big bitch? I was like, nah, I'm going to get another Lucian a tall bitch because they didn't have a tall bitch. Let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting Los Angeles Clippers. Oh, At power forward, Marcus Morris Sr. Sacramento Kings here in Golden One Center. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard was recognized as one of the NBA's 75 greatest. Coach Tyler says to go from being a 15th pick to that means a lot. It's a tribute to his hard work and dedication. And Leonard credits that work ethic to his dad. He says... I try to play as hard as I can each night. That's what my father wanted me to do. Kevin? What a worker Kawhi is. <laughs> Terrific player. And a great story, David. Thanks. Here are the five for the Clippers. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubox. And it's Westbrook at the point guard position. And for the Kings, the backcourt pair will be Fox with Herder. Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. And it's Barnes, and at the three, and the small uh, 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 focus on the guard matchup tonight, Greg. Both these teams rely on their backboards to lead the way for them. Yeah. And if anything, it, it should make for an entertaining basketball bad. game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backboard duel. Yeah. Those are always fun. And he's not oh, going to be mad if I pause this especially that wide open. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into oh. some kind of rhythm. Now, here is George. Shoots over Herter. And Demontis Sabonis pulls it down. And so it's Sabonis who brings up the ball oh. for the Kings. Their last meeting was in this building where they were able to come out on top. And it really was a difficult game for them in that previous matchup. Fortunately, they were able to just knock down their free throws down the stretch. Westbrook Nothing gets the joke. Pass to Leonard. That's Fox against Westbrook. Outside, George. George missing again. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. The key member of that 73 win Golden State Warrior team was Harrison Bump. And almost the forgotten part of the famed death lineup. Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Andre Iguodala. Harrison, a big piece of that 2015 oh, yeah, championship team as well. Oh, wow! Well. Well. That's some stuff that's wild. Excellent pass, PG-13. Keeping his eyes up, using his vision. Pass to Sabonis. Sabonis is screen on West. Here's Fox. That shot is off target. That makes him two for three. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. On the wing, Morris. And that 
won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. So for Sacramento, the last game lost to Golden State. Yeah, in that one, the shot selection wasn't terrible, but they had to tighten it up. It did not happen. They never really got into a rhythm, despite trying a few different things. Sometimes, it's just not your night. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. First, Going to the line for one. First team foul. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And examining his numbers this season, you can see that he's been an exceptional free throw shooter. Right around 85. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Harrison Barnes. At the line for one. And the free throw, no good. Smitty expectations have been so high for this Clippers team in recent seasons with Paul the addition of Kawhi and the addition of Paul George and the other great parts around him. They've got a lot of terrific players, Kevin. On paper, they look playoff ready. So those expectations aren't so misplaced. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Uh. <laughs> against Westbrook. But Morris with the screen for Westbrook. And Morris throws it down. So dangerous in the pick and roll game. Westbrook dishing it. Almost. Outside. Yes. Outside. The Clippers trail by three. Yes. It's game for 7-4. Something out of what the fuck is. Almost. Not Jerry Dice. It's on Keegan Murray. First percent. And his first foul. First team. Yeah, for Carmelo Hayes. This is the hard business. This one. We're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Screen by Zubox. Why is this stupid thing? And he drops it in from the low post. Morris has got his second bucket of the night. Man, he has come out. Focused and efficient. Love what he's doing at the offensive end. Here's Fox. Seven points in the game. The pass to Sabonis. Sacramento moving it around. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's her. No Missing that one helps oh. all the analytical guys from the mid range. Man. A bonus against Leonard. Westbrook with a screen for Leonard. I can barely dye his hair. <laughs> I can dye his hair. <laughs> Zubox the pass to Leonard. And trying to the go ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Burns down the He's covered by Leonard. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm dying it? I can't tell. Oh, now you're weird. And here oh, there is you go. Here's good. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. Murray, no good. And close to making the, the defense pay loss. for the lax coverage that time. Uh, outside Westbrook. <laughs> Zubats, a screen on Fox, pass to Leonard, oh, over Barnes, oh, that one a little long. Well, you, you oh, have to like their work on the boards, oh, particularly here to start the game. Oh, pass it to Herder, trying to end the crowd. Oh, 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 the Clippers with the rebound. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from Lake. They really focused on getting good looks. And if it wasn't there, each guy was willing to make the extra pass. Trust in his teammates. Oh, yeah, he's like that, and, and Fox starting to show you his abilities inside. He has quick instincts, which I think helps him when he's down low. Outside Lenny. Where is it? A 17 footer. And still a close game in the first quarter. Sam Holt falls. The Kings on top. They're up by three. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. It's going to be Batman. 
So he knows two. how to give you value anywhere on the floor. Uh, uh, man. Uh, outfit. And the first one at the line is good. Uh, and you hear the one. term point forward. Uh, but then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson. 6'9", but still a point guard. So pause. what's the difference? Uh, well, That's when you talk difference. about a point it forward, did. it's someone yeah. whose versatility extends... Oh, to their playmaking. Magic is the rare Good. talent who redefined the point guard position. And so Powell nails both of them. Now the Clippers trading last what? season for Norman oh. Powell. And uh, as they say, Ray, the rich can get richer. Yeah, and they have a two-way player. Uh, their wing death becoming the envy of the league. He's just coming into his prime, so he fits the timeline of their star. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. DeMontis Sabonis is one of the best passing big men in the league. He said sharing the ball is contagious. Everyone feels confident and knows they'll get touches, which makes the game fun. And that can build chemistry on a young team. Kevin, David, we know how important that is. And we thank you for your report. You know what makes Nicholas Batum indispensable? When they need him in the paint, he's there. When they need him on the perimeter, he's there. One shot. And with Batum, his versatility, he has earned him a lot of minutes over his career. Kevin, reason why, when you've got a guy who can guard a wing and get you points in the paint, that'll always get you some floor time. Now, here's Fox. He's got nine. And for a of this size, Fox is not afraid to take some contact to get to the line. He'll do it every chance he gets. This is his first chance at the line tonight. De'Aaron Fox at the line for two. I'm going to change that to a little And he can't get the first one. Back in 2020, Jaron Fox signing a massive extension, Greg. Five years and $163 million. Yeah, and Kevin, every NBA hopeful wants that second contract. Credit to De'Aaron for working his tail off and earning every penny of that deal. Kicks to Powell. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. No good, shot missing. Good work defensively by Hull. Now, here's Monk. Good by Powell. Monk with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit for him. Batum inside. Monk defending. A shot by Batum. No good. Davis kicks to Fox. Home, setting the bit for Fox. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. She's got 13. His shooting has been outstanding. And definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Batuma screaming Davis from team George. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Fox. 
Paul George grabs the miss. The Clippers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Right wing. Here's Highland. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Lakers. The tray. Sacramento grabs the miss. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Now, Fox. 13 points in the game. And Holmes throws it down. Yeah, you just have to have an appreciation now under control. Fox plays. I like watching him work the ball through the D in that pick and roll. Now here's Paul. Trailing by four. And with the pause here, how about the stats for the Air Fox? 25 points per six assists and four rebounds. Just a fantastic score off the bench. Always a factor Norman, oh. in every game he plays. What I love is he heats up quick because when you're on the second unit, you have no time to mess around. The free throw drops for Pop. You know, as the regular season, Greg, winds down, you can feel things start to change around the league, can't you? Yeah, I mean, some teams are getting totally in the zone for the playoffs, while other squads are using this time to plan for next year and trying to figure out what went wrong. Davion Mitchell's checked in for Fox. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now, here's Sabonis. No points in the game yet for him. Davis with it. Now, going by Plumlee. And that'll be two free throws Mason coming up. Plumlee. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. <laughs> In a moment now, we can take a look at the offensive approach for the Kings. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and their focus. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. He's off on the first. Sacramento making a switch here. Miles checked in. He hits the second from the line. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. The pass to Powell. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Lyle. Kings leading now by three. Mitchell passes to Monk. Back to Mitchell. Here's Highland. Covered by Mitchell. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Batum sets a screen for Powell. Pocket six. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. Norman that is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Kevin Herter. Standing back in for Malik Monk. Substituting on the court. For Sacramento, they've gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Now, here's Mitchell. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. For three. Herder, no good. Clippers trail by three. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Uh, listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. Uh, how about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. Now, one of the 75 greatest. Now, here's Mitchell. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Sabonis over Plumlee. Sacramento again missing. 
no one on him. He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more time with that shot. Powell with his screen on Mitchell. Man passes to Gordon. Over Davis. And it's Gordon missing. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And here's Herder. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. <laughs> Leonard against Mitchell. Pass to Mann. Plumley with the screen. Kicks it out to Gordon to stop the trout. Knocks down the three ball. Gordon's got the game tied up here for the Clippers. And so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. But when you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. Clippers and the foul call in Cole. That's foul number two for him. Alex Lund's checked in for the Kings. Barnes comes in for Davis. Zubat is checked in for the Clippers. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Mitchell with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pocket four. Light block shot. And the rejection by Zubat. Very good. Eight seconds left in the first half of basketball. Humbly with the screen. Man. Oh, my goodness. We know time left on the court. Without a moment to spare, he cuts this one out. Coaches always talk about closing quarter strong. Can't do it much better than that. I need a little too. Thanks very much with Ty Lu. Coach, do you think your turnovers and struggles at the offensive end fueled their scoring? Always. We turn the basketball over. It's hard for us to get back, get our defense set. So we got to do a better job taking care of the basketball and having good shots with us. We'll see what you can do to make that better as the game goes, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. And greetings from the 2K studio. Here at halftime, Sacramento Kings in a tight game. Their offense is off to a slow start. They need to find some easy buckets. Try to get things back on the right track. Well, can't have that prolific scoring. The MF, right? What's the MF stand for? Most frequently. Right, Jack. And now let's take a moment. The fans hitting us up on social media. And a question that I can get behind from Zokland. I love my dog, Chester. Do you guys have any pets? Yeah, I'm not allowed to lame them. You have pets? Yeah, I have three dogs. I have, a, I have a Yama. You have a what, Kenny? I have a Yama. Do you really? Yeah. I got a dog named Bo who's part beagle and part whippet. Ooh, what's a whippet? You know, those kind of skinny dogs that can ah, really run? Ah, yes. Whippet. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been one outstanding game from the Aaron Fox. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on the quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Sacramento Harris and Savonis hold on to post positions for him. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herder. And it's Barnes and at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. The Clippers have been good at the line so far in five of five.
Free throw drops for Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with multiple finals MVPs putting him in elite company. GA, not many guys have done it ever. The only other current players, KD and LeBron. That should tell you just how special the claw is. Here comes the chairman of the board. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Line. Well, Kawhi has always been an elite defender, but he's become just as fearsome on the offensive end. You can tell he never stops working on his game. Oh, dynamic two-hand jam. Mm -hmm. And right in the face of the defender. Morris with a screen on Fox. Nobody near George. And three off the mark. And for Sacramento, they're shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Here's Hurt. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Fox. And the rejection by Zubox. Herder, no good. Out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Russell Westbrook. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Outside, Sabonis, the dish to Barnes. In the corner, Murray with it, takes the three. Offensive rebound, there's Sabonis. And the rejection by Zubox. Oh, yeah, this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. There's Leonard. Another shot, and it's Zubox laying it in. Zubats has got the lead up to two now for the Clippers. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the ball. Good work defensively by Morris. And stolen by Murray. Murray's got it all tied up now for the key. Almost impossible to guard Murray inside in college. We'll see if that translates to the NBA. Here's George. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution, but sometimes the shot just don't go down. I think it's fair to say that Fox is in the zone right now. An exciting player to watch. I just love seeing how he can take over a game with his aggressiveness. Now, here's Westbrook. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. He was all alone on that one. And the Clippers lead by one. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Outside, Sabonis. Right around three minutes into the second half. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Moves back up. Chalk up two there. They are just killing them on the interior. Los Angeles has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Leonard inside. Allen's on him. And Leonard gets it to go. What strength from the seasoned veteran. Leonard loves going at defenders and scoring on them. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now, here's Sabonis. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. Here's Fox. True on the 14 foot. Fox has got 17. During that breakout fourth season, DeMontis averaged five assists per game, a crazy number for a center. Here's Westbrook. He's been playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Sacramento. And the Clippers with the change here, too. Powell's checked in. Yes. Oh, 
Morris outside. Creams the three pointer. Seven points in the game. Three point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Fox feeling it out a bit. In the corner, Murray with it. And right away, the match with a three pointer of their own. Murray's got his third bucket of the night. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Clippers. They trail by one. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Count it. Westbrook's got his first basket of the night. Pure athleticism from Russell Westbrook. In the face of good defense, he still gets it to fall. Zubats against Sabonis. Now, here's Fox. He's tightly guarded. Good D by Westbrook. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. From T, George. Sabonis grabs the ball. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Now, Fox. He's got 17 over Westbrook. Fox, no good. And they bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Powell kicks to Westbrook. Zubats a screen on Fox. And Westbrook, here we go. Here are Zubats. Back to Westbrook. Shot on the wing. Again, Los Angeles. Angeles. And all second half, they haven't gotten stops with any consistency. The Kings trail by three. <laughs> Outside, Fox. Sabonis' so screen on Westbrook. And you know what? Already showing signs of a solid jump shot. Fox is only going to get better as long as he's committed. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a 3 ball game here. The Clippers lead by one. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Discipline. Fantastic job. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Taking a look at Los Angeles, we've got Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Covington out there with Plumlee, then there's Gordon, and it's Mann in at the point. Davis in the corner. Oh, good on the triple. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Plumlee against Lynn. Shot clock at six. Three pointers off the mark. The Kings trailing. The Sanchez center fight. Now here's Herder. They were shanking. He kicks it to Mitchell. Back to Herder. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Here's Mann, covered by Mitchell. Covington, a screen on Mitchell. Mann passes to Covington. He dishes it to Gordon. Makes it off the glass. Eric Gordon. Gordon's got the lead up to three now for the Clippers. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Covington with the steal. Gordon against Mitchell. 
Gordon deciding where to go with it. The 11-footer misses off the right iron. Gordon's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field. Pass to Herder. Stolen by Gordon. Passes it to me. Here's Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Six to shoot. Offensive rebound. Let's it go with a three. Hangs on the trifecta. After putting up zeros in the first half, he is making up for it big time now. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Well, I was able to listen in with what the Kings head coach said to his team. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thanks, David. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth to the wing, but it kicks to Holmes. Mitchell looking it over. He feeds it to land. Good on the shot. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Here's Highland. Covered by Mitchell. Let's the three fly. Highland misses. The Kings trail by four. Outside, Davis. Here's Hunter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots in front. Well, this is what they want from Herder. Be assertive and make plays. And the chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They've been lights off from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. Two. And also, they took advantage of their quickness. Got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. These motherfuckers just used the fucking Zack Ryder And he knocks down the first one. With size in the backcourt, it's wow, such an advantage. Try. Kevin Herter is 6'6 with a long frame. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Oh. Zabonis, it's he's really checking in for Alex Lynn. Murray comes in for Rashawn Holmes. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Mitchell. Like they gave the spawn of another wrestler. This person in the game. No good on the second free throw. Clippers leading by three. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Here's Zubats. That's good. Russell so Westbrook comes up with the assist. For a number of seasons, Russell, Russell Westbrook, Westbrook has averaged double-digit assists. Timeout called by the Kings. With the timeout. Started. Uh, is your name? You all know what time it is. Here comes your name. What is so special about the night show? Barnes is checked in. 
Here's Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Fires at the elbow. That shot misses. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. George looking over the floor. The kick out to Westbrook. He tries for three. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got 13 rebounds in the game. See the Barnes finds Fox. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. Sabonis high post for three. Murray. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Low percentage shot from long range. Terrible decision, especially when you still have a chance to win this. Here's Zubac. They grab their own miss. And he lays it straight in. Zubac has got the lead up to seven now for the Clippers. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Again, the miss by the Kings. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And it's George finishing it off. Just competing and you know giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end, it's another to finish. And I really love Fox's game. And he's got a ton of room to grow. But boy, does he play with intensity. At the line for two. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that brings them within eight. Fox hits them both. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. Zubox the best to George. And foul, foul on the foul. shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. The defense First on George foul. a little too tight there. But to shooting have any chance Angeles. against him, you have to Paul challenge George. him. Taking two shots. <laughs> First one drops, and that stretches their lead to eight. In my opinion, one of the most talented two-way players of this generation, Paul George has stayed humble throughout his success and has shown that he is willing to do whatever it takes to win. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a nine-point ball game here. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. Fox passes to Herter. Sabonis is screen on George. Herter finds Sabonis. From deep. Outside, Fox. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. And that's Fox saying, I'm the top dog here. You need a big basket, you come to me. Kevin and that's an intentional foul. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. Paul George at the line for two. Two, two. By the way, the radio is texting you right now. <laughs> I, I don't know he hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. 
Apparently she talks to me and her boyfriend at the same time. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're trailing by eight. We've got 13 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. Don't worry about executing the next play. And here's Davis for three. Got it. Oh, and that puts the lead to just five. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Shooting for Los Angeles, Robert Covington taking two shots. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, this lead will be safe. And oh, here we go with Leonard. Nobody back. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First person off to go inside, plus the seven-foot three wingspan. Hard to stop Kawhi without fouling. Shooting for Los Angeles, Kawhi Leonard, two shots. And so both free throws are good. And it's a nine-point ball game here. And so Los Angeles takes the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, Thank you a big one. Really you know, it's never going to be on the road. But they come back 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 and it's out. Tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge Another standing up. by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Kawhi, how satisfied are you with your team's performance tonight in this win? Well, we did a great job tonight. You know, we got to come in every game with the defensive hat on first, and we did that tonight. We made shots, and we, we ended up winning the game. You took it to him when it mattered, man. We've been on the call Back for eight, almost Thank eight and a half hours. <laughs> And that about wraps it up. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Allen. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for what? watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Ivica Zubac. I know, right? <laughs>